Hello, I'm Erin and today I'll be baking some cupcakes. First, you'll need 12 cupcake cases, vanilla extract, butter, eggs, a baking tray with 12 cupcake cases, flour and sugar. I've just put the oven on to 180 degrees Celsius but first, I will put the cupcake cases into my tray. Hello, I'm back and we have put the cupcake cases out the way. So we have the bowl, we have my spatula and we have the weighing scales. So make sure that your dry ingredients go in first because if they go in last, if they go in last then the wet ingredients like the flour and the, I mean the butter and the eggs, they will get stuck to the edges and it just won't work. So... I'm going to stir the flour <coughs> um, in first. We need 100 grams of this, so make sure you've got your weighing scales on grams, not like units or anything else. Um, yeah, it's hard to get the flour out because it's so heavy. Um, okay, we've got the flour. And I'm going to pour in 100 grams of this. If you um, don't know what grams are, um, you can put it on 4 ounces, which is better. But I use grams, so I'm going to use grams this time. So, oh, still got too much. I just put in too much. Um, I've got 128. I'll have to use a spoon to take some of that out because that is quite a lot. So I'm going to take some of that out. It's less now because it's 106 at the moment. So I'm going to take a little bit more out. 96. I'll put a tiny bit in. 97. 103. Oh, and seriously. 100. Finally, 100. Good. Now I've got 100 grams, I'll put my flour back in the pot for my sugar next. So make sure you've got 100 grams in there. I've definitely got 100 grams this time. So I'm putting the lid back on with my flour. And now I'm going to put the sugar in. Make sure you've got lots of sugar. So now we're going to use 100 grams as well with caster sugar, make sure it's caster sugar and self-raising flour. So as we've got our caster sugar here, it's also 100 grams, so you've got to make sure it's either 4 ounces or 100 grams. Make sure it's on grams. So I'm going to put that back to zero, so it's not 100. You can keep it on 100, so when it's on 200, that's when you stop. So now I'm just going to start putting the sugar in. Hopefully it doesn't go more than 100 this time. It's not at the moment, I'm good. 55, 56. Ooh, 150. I'll scoop a little bit of that back into the pack because that is easier with sugar. So I'm going to scoop a little bit of that back into the Okay, 107. 107, I think that's okay. So I'm putting the sugar back in the pot. And now I will add my eggs. So make sure you have two eggs. And my mum always used to say, make sure you've got all the jiggle, drizzle from the eggs inside the bowl. So I've got some kitchen towel so the eggs don't spill everywhere and it doesn't all get messy. If you don't have kitchen towel, then just put a mat down um, to keep your table clean. So I'm going to ban it on the edge, but I normally use a bowl. So I'm going to get an extra bowl so I can bang it on the edge of a bowl and separate because I normally don't put it all in because it's a softer texture so I'm going to use my hard cap bowl. Thank you. So I've got my cup, little cup here that I'm going to knock the edge. There we 
we go. Now use your fingers to crack it open and make sure all the yolk is out and all the drizzle from the egg. Then I'm going to put my eggs into my kitchen pan. So now make sure there is no shell inside. But if there is shell inside, you can just use the end of the egg to scoop it out. I have got a little bit of shell inside there. So uh, it's hard to get it out, but I'm going to have a little go. As soon as it's in, it's in. So I've got the shell there. And now I've got the shell, I'm going to add in my other egg. <coughs> Making sure none of the video goes outside. So if you want to put it straight into the bowl, that's your choice. But I'm doing it in a separate bowl because that's how I normally do it. So wipe your hands on some kitchen towel and now we'll put all the eggs in. This is the all-in-one method, so it'll be easy to put it all in. Plop, plop, it's all in. Now, I'm going to put a quarter of a teaspoon in. So I just need a teaspoon there. And I've got my vanilla extract. It's hard to open, so get an adult to help you open. Ugh. <sighs> I need some help opening the extract. Okay, it's open. It is open. Finally open. And I'm just... Okay, I've put it in. And now I'll put my spoon out the way. And I'll put the lid back on the extract. Make sure the extract lid is nice and tight so it doesn't spill. Um, nearly as hard as it was getting in. So now we'll get our butter. Yeah. Got the butter! <laughs> Nearly spilled the bowl. Um, got the butter and butter we need. How much butter? Uh, oh yeah, 100 grams again. Again, again, again. Uh, so you can use four ounces, as I said earlier. But I'm going to use 100 grams because I am on grams now. This is a new pot of butter, so I will slide open the lid and I will get to my new pot of butter. I've got my spoon, I'm going to put in some butter. Make sure you see how much is in there, but 100 grams is nice because that's a lot of butter, as you'll be thinking. The butter is fat, so make sure it's in a cake, not on its own. Um, my mum used to teach me to slide your finger like this down the bowl, like that, so 81. Slide it down, 98, oh so close. I don't want too much in the spoonful now, so I'm just going to get a few, 106. I think that's okay, so I'm going to put the lid onto the butter now, and now we're going to stir it in. If you would like to use like this Zuzu machine that stirs it all in, I'm going to do it by hand. It is quite hard, but I'm sure that's the only way I can use it. So make sure it's all in and make sure it looks like a nice texture. So it's got to look quite creamy um, as well. It's hard doing it by hand because the mixture is all quite strong but make sure it's nice and creamy and all of your sugar and butter and your eggs and all of the flour is mixed in so we don't want any at the bottom or at the sides make sure to dig right in so you can feel it all hardening in and there's no flour around the edges keep going until it's a nice creamy texture so as I'm doing it, I'm trying it really, really fast, and you've got to get it nice and beaten in. You can see the bubbles starting to go there now, and the consistency has to be in not falling off the spoon like I'm doing now. So it's getting really hard to beat, but consistency is nice. So it only drops and drizzle. It doesn't drizzle like icing, like runny icing, it's sort of like buttercream. It's sort of really stiff 
and it's starting to look nice and creamy and the consist this is the consistency you want so that is the consistency you want you want it to be nice and thick so it doesn't drizzle off the spoon look there it just sticks there it's like ice cream really in big lumps and it doesn't really fall off ice cream is like that as well so I'm gonna keep going I think that's a nice texture I think that's a really good texture for me if you haven't done that yet you can just pause the video now and do that okay so I've got my cupcake pieces here in my tray and our mixture is going to go into our cupcake cases. That means it's going to be nice and thick and make sure it's even so all of our cupcake cases have exactly the same amount. It doesn't have to be exactly, it can be a little bit over, but make sure it's sort of the same. So I'm just going to get that. It doesn't matter if it's all in, but you've got to make it nice and big. That one was quite big, so I'm going to... Make some smaller ones here, but make sure all your icing is shared fairly. Make sure you've got enough for uh, 12, so don't make it like loads of them in all of them. I am sort of doing that, so don't copy me, but I'm trying to make it nice and fair, but also at the same time, make sure all of my cupcakes have the same amount. Some of them do have more than others, but I think I've done the best I can to sort of even them out a little bit more so put these cupcakes in for about 10 to 12 minutes don't forget to lick the bowl as i said one of them are ginormous so it's really hard to test so i've tested it with this cake to stir someone might have already told you this before but um if it's messy that means they're not cooked if it's clean that means that properly cooked but when i stuck it into the big one it was totally messy so and um, we have to put them on for another minute or so